Bill in calls, NASA's senior photographer, is one of the world's acknowledged greats at photographing sky events. His pictures of eclipses and supermoons have been ranked among the top 10 more than once. So with Sunday's supermoon full eclipse coming up, in Gauls offers tips for taking a picture your family won't forget. 1. Most important, in Gauls says, is, don't make the mistake of photographing the moon by itself with no reference to anything. I've done it myself, but everyone will get that shot. Instead, think of how to make the image creative, that means tying it into some land-based object. It can be a local landmark or anything to give your photo a sense of place. 2. Scout your location so you can capture the right angle at the right time. Read up on where and when the moon will appear in your area. The eclipse will peak at 9.47 p.m. CDT. 3. Can you shoot with a smartphone? In Gauls says that would be maddening for him, but maybe a good challenge. You're not going to get a giant moon in your shot, he said, but you can do something more panoramic, including some foreground that's interesting. Think about being in an urban area where it's a little bit brighter. To get the right light balance of the moon on newer earphones and other smartphones, tap the screen and hold your finger on the object, in this case, the moon, to lock the focus. Then slide your finger up or down to darken or lighten the exposure. 4. For digital SLR cameras, Incalls uses the daylight white balance setting to capture moonlight, since sunlight is being reflected. Don't forget the moon is moving, he said. It's a balancing act.